So I don't think the city of Philadelphia has to reinvent the wheel on this. I mean, there's a lot of committee structures like this in other cities where they use a certain criteria um, and best practices. So I think that that's something that we could borrow from from other committees as well. Is that something we would make the applicants aware of when, at, at when they apply? That this is going to be the criteria they're evaluated on, or? So that's that's something that happens. I actually was talking to somebody um, from Warren, and they, you know, let them know what they're grading everyone on. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, there's, you know, every that, to be fair, I think that everyone knows exactly what they're grading right. on, and um, and that's the practice that they've used in the city of Warren so far. So. And also so, through the chair, just to add on. So going back to the answer question, how many are we taking? We'll see that. Right. That's another thing too. Oh, I mean, we can have a line out the door. We're going to start at this date. But see, one thing too, though, going back to like the pre-qualification thing, uh, you know, being pre-qualified, that's a shorter list. Like, if we were to open it up to anybody, we would probably have a thousand applications. Uh, but there's a short list of folks who are actually pre-qualified to the state or to yeah, do that, and it kind of, you know, no plants in it, but it weeds them out, you know. So it kind of puts, okay. you know. So yeah. I'm not even, I'm honestly not even sure about that. Might be what is, what's being considered. Okay. I don't have the numbers right now, but I know as of Last December is when the state started getting applications, and as of this summer, there was only a couple, and I mean okay. like two or three that were approved. Mm -hmm. right. um, so um, I don't, I, I don't think there's very many that have been pre qualified at all. Okay. Um, like so, the 170 number, I, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty. Sure that's probably what's in front of the the board. Okay. But I. I'd be surprised if there. I, I think there's less than 20. I, I, I think. I, I mean, that was the last. I didn't get the last so update. Like, even for like looking at the list, and I can send this to council too. Yeah. Um, for the secure transport, there are <coughs> three pre-qualified members of the whole state. Uh, so you know that kind of you know whittles it down to. So do you folks. have a list of all. The <coughs> they they only tell tell you how many are pre-qualified right now. I don't even know if they list the names of them, but uh, I yeah. do have uh, I'm not numbers. Sure. to the Medical Recreational uh, Facilities Act that it seems to imply that you do need to opt out if you want to opt out. Now, the fear that was kind of running rampant among uh, municipal uh, uh, officials was that it is true that you can possess without a medical marijuana card now 10 days after, or will be, 10 days after the election. Okay, yeah, yeah, that you can possess it. So. Um, 
But that doesn't mean that so, there were some rumors. There was ru some rumors being spread that we better opt out quick, or else these things are going to pop up in our community. That is not true. Right. There are no recreational medical, uh, recreational licenses that are going to be granted till late next year. So there's plenty of time for the council to do something. But Dearborn obviously was reacting to the rumor mill that you know by election day we're going to have to get an ordinance out there to opt out immediately which obviously would not make any sense if the council or a city had to act before it prop got passed and, you know, got passed. Ellen Park sure. So that, that's what it is. Ellen Park did. Yeah, yeah, and jumping hey, right on. But you believe you do have to opt out? Yes. Not yeah, there's, there's going to be a point in time when uh, if the city is not interested in allowing its providers, if it passes this, to have recreational licenses as well and just wants to stay medical, right. to opt and to say we don't want recreational and licenses. The people have that discretion, sole discretion right. to decide yes. that. And yes. then yes. when they're opting out, they, they also opt out of any share of the tax revenue. That, right. Well, right. Now, correct. Now, what, what, with the Medical Marijuana Facilities Act, the medical one, there is a sharing based upon tax revenue. With respect to the Recreational Marijuana Act, there is a specific, not only sharing of just the tax revenue, but where those things go. There's specific funding for roads, for schools, right? Or yeah. definitely roads. Um, so it's, it's definitely different than the Facilities sure. Act. And the implication is, is that there's going to be more sharing and more funding going on with this one. And it's specifically in the Act. So that is a consideration. Councilman Let me ask you this. In reference to the... Okay away from the medical marijuana now. So we'll get into the recreational. Mm -hmm. It's my understanding they'll be able to grow so much at their homes. Uh, right right now, individuals can grow so much at their homes at medical marijuana. With regard to recreational, I believe there's something in there again. It just got passed with how many plants you can own or what you right. think. Yeah. It's it, it, my understanding yeah. how many? Yeah. Well, it's well, well, you can grow twelve. Yeah. yeah you can. Now, so with so that hard. with that being said, um, the facilities, now, they'll be growing this stuff in their homes. And I'm just wondering about this for maybe for the city as far mm -hmm. as if we have a right if people are gonna grow it in their homes, mm -hmm. do we have the right to stipulate to them that they must get permits because number one, I'm worried about the fire hazard because they're gonna be plugging this stuff, all these mm -hmm. these lights and stuff are gonna be plugged into these old homes. Now, do we have a right to pass an ordinance that says you can grow it, but you must pass an inspection by the fire department or whatever in order to grow it because with, what I'm saying is the chances of fire are going to increase. This, well, and this is what Article 1 of this ordinance is providing for regulation of the home grows, okay? And I'm telling you it's, you know, it's a very aggressive ordinance to deal with that policy issue because um, under the state law with regard to whether it's 12 plants or 72 plants on what you can do, I mean, 12 plants is a lot. I've seen it. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense for there to be uh, you know, <coughs> residential homes, smaller residential right. homes, bungalows, three-bedroom brick ranches, even bigger homes to have that many plants in there. And there are is a lot of lights, electricity. It is a unique factor that's going on there. And that is why um, the city is considering a pretty aggressive Article One with respect to personal use and what's going on in the homes. Now, is it going to be challenged? Probably. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, the reasoning would be um, the public health and safety in the neighborhoods sure. and what's going on. Yeah, I was just wondering. To, to be that regulated, sure. They have to pay for, at least pay for an inspection. Absolutely. So they can come and say the electrical system can take this wattage. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do it with everybody else that, that has businesses and stuff like that. And making sure it's safe. And, that, and, that, and that's the policy that the city's heading in uh, right now. And that public safety has to do with not only the people that are there growing it, but the surrounding neighbors as well. Because if you've ever seen one of these houses that blow off the foundation, oh, yeah, yeah. it impacts an entire neighborhood if right. done improperly. So that is what you are considering by uh, considering this ordinance is okay. a, 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 a serious policy uh, with respect to the residents, mm -hmm. residential areas. Any other questions for Mr. Greco? All right. Thank you, sir.